Tonight, lights for a legend. Live picture right now from the Empire State Building, lit up in Laker purple and gold in honor, of course, of Kobe Bryant. The Lakers star and his teenage daughter are among nine people killed in a helicopter crash in California. The radio transmissions reveal the minutes of that flight. Ken McLeod is here tracking that investigation. Ken? Liam and David, it was an experienced pilot flying a helicopter with an excellent safety record, but the 40-minute flight still ended in tragedy, killing a basketball legend, three teenagers, and a baseball coach with ties to Cape Cod. The NTSB says it'll spend five days gathering evidence at the crash site and believes it will pinpoint what went wrong. Federal investigators worked the rugged hillside in Calabasas today, retrieving nine bodies from a charred wreckage scattered over several hundred feet. It was a pretty devastating accident scene. There is no dispute that the Sunday morning fog was bad, even by California standards. Some pilots had declined to fly in it, and the NTSB is recruiting photographic evidence. We're looking for photos of the weather in the area of the crash. In fact, halfway into his trip, veteran pilot Ara Zabayan, himself a flight instructor, requested a form of special permission to keep going in the murky marine layer. On board, Bryant and his daughter Gianna and two of the teen's teammates, one riding with her mom, the other with her mom and dad, former Cape Cod League baseball coach John Altabelli. You hate to think that life can be that fragile, uh, and yet, tragedies like this remind us that it is. They were all heading to the girls' basketball tournament at Kobe's Mamba Sports Academy, but never made it. I'm still in shock, and I, I still can't believe that this is real. Federal investigators know at one point the chopper circled for 12 minutes or so, waiting for the fog to break. There was never a distress call. The pilot advised they were climbing to avoid a cloud layer. When ATC asked what the pilot planned to do, there was no reply. By then, the chopper had turned left, picked up speed, and slammed into the hillside, killing everyone on board. Federal investigators will not be getting any help from a familiar tool. The question is, was, did we recover a black box? There wasn't a black box. A black box to record data and voices not required on private helicopters. Expect a lot of focus on the pilot's decision to fly in the fog, but the NTSB warns there may be a lot more to why the chopper suddenly veered left and dropped like a rock without calling a mayday. I'm Ken McLeod, WBZ News.